Hey, what's good? Matthew Manuel here. Welcome to week three of the 52 week options trading challenge. For those of you that are new here, I am starting with $200 and just by increasing my account by 10% each week, it will be over $28,000 by the end of the year. I've tried this twice before in the past and failed. And I personally think this time is different. I've taken the time to learn a lot and grow. I put in some new rules for myself and yeah, I think I'm going to do this. So if that's something that interests you, keep watching. Hey, what's good? Welcome back. It's week three. It's currently sitting at $243 buying power. The goal for today is to get the account to 263 or I guess 264 because we got that dollar of Bitcoin in there. And anything above that is profit. Let's do it. Today has been one of the toughest days of this challenge by far. Let's just hop in the handy dandy Robin Hood, take a look at how today went. All right, so here we are looking at this buy, and as you can see, looking at this chart, you can see it was definitely a ride. Most, most of this right here is one trade, but we did take two trades today and we lost someone one on the other let's take a look all right so to start out the the first complete trade i took today was on tesla this morning i bought a 165 put for 24 dollars sold out for 14 dollars. so i uh, was in this trade we got in at 249 that's uh 19 minutes in the market open and sold out at 3 58. So yeah, I spent some time in this trade. I got stopped out. It didn't play out the way I thought it did. So yeah, that has been the first L we took on this challenge. It didn't play out the way I'd hoped, but it's all good. And I just realized I have trading view on my phone as well. So I can actually show you the plan for that trade. So, so here we are looking at the chart for Tesla on the one hour. And the trade I took is right here. This is the candle I entered on. This is the candle that opening bell happened on let me back out a little bit all right so tesla opens right here tesla goes up and then comes down which is exactly what i was looking for it to do for me to make an entry on a trade then it comes down for about a half hour which hey i'm, I'm thinking this play is working out my way i was actually up four dollars on this trade at a point but then it comes up here smashes through my stop loss and it looks like it's still going it's up here at another supply zone so could end up turning around but i'm done with the trade so on to the next the next stock i took a trade on today was netflix and and if you look at netflix it kind of looks the exact same as my chart does for the day so i've been in this pretty much all day and uh, if we take a look at it, I bought one single contract for $216. I got in too early, I overpaid, but luckily I had a trade plan. So I just rode the trade plan to the end and it worked out. So looking at it, you can see here, yeah, I actually put in my limit price at 226. Had I got filled for that, may not be done with this challenge this week, but hey, God is good, so hey. Thank you. So I got filled pretty much right at market open. That was part of the problem. I didn't give the contracts any time to find the appropriate prices. So I got in too early. And then I sold out an hour and five minutes before market closed. So I was in this thing six and a half hours, something like that. So I was in this trade almost five and a half hours and it was really working my mental today. Now to show you what my trade plan looked like for this. All right, so here we are looking at the chart on Netflix. Uh, as you can see, I got a lot of stuff written here, but basically, here, let me zoom out for you. Basically, what I was looking for Netflix to do was to come below this blue line and reverse. And it did that, but it came down a lot more than I expected it to. Um, looking at the 15 minutes, uh, you can see I bought... I bought right here at 565 on this first candle. It came down to 563, came back up, came back down to 562, and then the rest of the day was pretty much a grind. It came back up here to 574 and 
at this point i was close to being able to exit and hit my goal on the trade but then it pulled back the contract lost some value and then i had to ride it all the way to the end i actually got out got out right about here just before its peak and my trade plan worked out perfectly it went just a little bit higher than my take profit so positives of this this trade definitely built up my confidence in my charting negatives i jumped the gun a little too early even if i would have waited to buy in this area instead of up here on this first candle i could have got the contract for half the price and i probably could have got out somewhere in here and been done for the day but hey hindsight is 2020 all that matters is i hit my goal for the week i get to live on to trade another week and, and that's another week of consistency that i get to add under my belt real quick forgot to address the money going to the bank this week this week we have one dollar going into the bank did i hit my goal but i got money going to the bank the bank lives on I would also like to take this time to remind you if you're interested in joining the discord be sure to sign up using the link down below in the description it's absolutely free and costs nothing to you if you enjoyed this video or learned anything be sure to smash the like button if for some reason you made this far and you haven't already be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content and last but certainly not least thank you so much for watching matthew manuel signing off and I want to change your life.